Expansive landscapes, infinite sunlight, and time-honored tradition. This is the luxurious world of wine. And this is Billy Merritt. Hi, my name is Billy Merritt, and I know nothing about wine. He's a guy's guy. I grew up on football, red meat, poker, and beer. But recently, his lifestyle began feeling a little flat. I want to experience something new, something exciting. So, Billy challenged himself to a life-changing mission. I want to be able to order wine at a table with confidence. I want to know wine words and sound smart at dinner parties. I want to walk into a store and know the right questions to ask. So my quest is to learn as much about wine as possible. And you're coming with me. Join us as we follow Billy Merritt in search for sophistication. He's unrefined, he's unfiltered, he's uncorked. There's really nothing more exciting than heading out to your local wine shop in search for that hot new bottle that everyone is talking about. Yeah, and the streets of New York really are paved with gold. Wine stores are like a never-ending maze of nonsense for guys whose idea of a good time is a 30-pack of silver bullet and a ping-pong ball. But everybody loves a challenge, so let's do this, Billy. Today's mission is how to buy wine, where to look for it, how to get the best value, and how not to look like an idiot when looking for it. There are thousands upon thousands of wine stores all over this great country of ours with over 20,000 choices of wine to choose from. Today, I'm gonna learn how to narrow my wine buying options and find a wine store that's right for me. What exactly is the right wine store for a gigantic beer swilling man? Me, I prefer to get my wine from my local flight attendant. Yep, that's pretty much what I thought he was gonna say. I guess there's some work to do. First, let's find out what people look for in their local wine store. Excuse me, do you drink wine? You don't drink wine? You like wine? So what kind of wine drinker are you? Uh, I don't really drink wine. How do you not drink wine? Anyone? Do you drink wine? You drink wine, sir? Yeah, I drink wine. What kind of wine? What kind of, do you go to a wine store? Usually I drink Lafitte Rothschild. Lafitte Roth, that's an expensive wine, isn't it? What particular wine do you like? Um, in the summer, I like white wines. Yeah. Pinot Grigio. Okay, I like Bordeaux. Bordeaux, it's like a full-bodied wine, right? Yeah. That's hot. So where do you uh, get wine if you get wine? You're not selling? Go down to Little Italy. Yeah. And go in the back room. Yeah. And get a bottle with no label on it. Any particular quality you're looking for in that liquor store? Or? Inexpensive. Boxed wine. Huh? Inexpensive. Inexpensive boxed wine? This is really, really big variety. It's uh -huh. kind of whatever you want. Oh. So if they have white wines, they need to have a selection that's cold. As really? Well. I'm looking for somebody who knows wines. Yeah. So when I walk in, I may not know everything about it. Exactly. But that person can tell me. Exactly. You know the flavors. Yeah. This or that. What kind of wine drinker are you? A teetotaler, a sipper, a gulper, or a wino? I'm gonna go with full-fledged wino. Well, bless your heart. Bless your heart. You're right for this show, then. Cassius, kick it. All right. Yo, we doing it right here. We live from Times Square. I had to sign a release, and that's all fair. Might catch me drinking on a Chardonnay. White wine, red wine, every day, all day. Might touch you with my boy Billy Merritt in here. And we keep it all good. You can hear us in here. Uh -huh. And we go on that thing, and we just don't stop. What? You might drink Wayne, but you can't get hot. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Thank you, Cassius. All right. All right. You rock. All right. Cassius rocks. Yeah. <laughs> got my name in the song. Well. I guess what they say is true. The Big Apple is unmatched in its number of wackos and great wine shops. Probably not a coincidence, but Billy still looks a little lost on where to start. So let's bring in some professional help. Tish, today my mission is to shop for wine. Do you have any pointers for me? Sure, Billy. First thing you're gonna look for is a store that has good selection. What else? In a good wine shop, you'll be able to say what you're looking for and get good advice based on what they're selling. Okay, so good selection, knowledgeable staff, what else? You have a budget. Don't be afraid to say, I want to spend $15 on a wine, or I want to spend 20 and they'll find something within your budget. That's a good store. Excellent. Now, is there anything else I need to know? How is the store organized? Is it by country? Is it by grape? You should be able to, at a glance, see what is where, and oh. then you're off and running. So each store is organized differently. I did not know that. You ready to roll? I think I'm ready, Kish. Go out there, 
You're gonna go to three stores. You ready? You're gonna go to Manhattan and you're gonna go to Best Sellers. All right. The other one's gonna be called Crush. All right. This one's called Manor House. Manor House. So those are your three stores. Go out and do your thing. So Michael, tell me a little bit about the store. How is this store set up and how is it different from other stores? Well, the store is set up primarily by region. It's divided up through New World wines and Old World wines. How am I going to find wine in this wonderful store of yours? We're actually organized by varietal. Varietal? Yeah, grape type. So varietal means grape type? Yes. Okay. So tell me, what's the difference between this wine store and others? What would make me want to come to this wine store? Well, a couple of things. Firstly, the manner in which we organize the store. Okay. So, some words like juicy, that uh -huh. you know, smooth you know, big yeah. you know, sweet you know. You don't have to depend on things like grape varietals or regions of the world. Okay. Michael, I've come here for a particular kind of wine. I'm looking for a big bodied red wine for a skirt steak, a skirt steak, steak made of skirt. skirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you could do the nine stones, Ooh, uh, nine the hilltops, uh, Shiraz. Again, full bodied, 100% uh, Shiraz. Um, some chocolate, some blueberry, blackberry nuances. Mm -hmm. Really uh, soft, beautiful with a strip steak. I would either recommend a Bordeaux or something from California. Do you have a preference between the two? Mm, let's, let's look at the Bordeaux. Sure. All right. How much do you want to spend? Uh, no more than 20. No more than 20. Okay. I would say for $15.99, Chateau La Marche Canon. Did you look down on me a little bit when I said no more than 20? Honestly, I normally don't spend more than $20 on my really? own. I mean, hey, I gotta eat too, you know? Yeah, right? So I'm looking for a full-bodied red wine. What would you recommend? Right. Where, where do I go? You're gonna go to Big. I would probably go with the Fabre Montmayo. This one hails from Mendoza, Argentina. Okay. It's a Malbec. How much does this run for? That one is $12.50. $12.50? Yes. How many wines do you carry? In the store? Yeah. I'd say close to 3,000 different selections. How much do you carry? We generally have several thousand bottles in the Several thousand Several bottles. thousand, yeah. Tom, how many wines does this store actually carry? Um, I would say right around 2,000. Now, how many wines can you carry? Now, how many bottles of wine can you carry? Now, how much can you personally carry? So I've gone to three stores today and they all had their pluses and they had their minuses. Best Sellers was probably the easiest to navigate, but also I found a little commercial, a little poppy. Crush uh, had the best selection, uh, definitely had some great wines, but I found it pretty intimidating. Manor House Cellar, I found that Michael was the easiest to talk to and got me directly to the wine I wanted, but if he wasn't there, I'd have no idea where the wines were. So to sum it up, all stores have good things about them, they have bad things about them. Coming up next, I'm gonna try and buy wine online. Well, hello. Hi, I hope I'm not too early. I meant to get here sooner, but my hair dryer broke and I couldn't leave the apartment with wet hair, so I stuck my head in the microwave. All right, you're right on time, come on in. Wow, this place is beautiful. You must pay a fortune. Right. Can I get you something to drink? Did you get that Sauvignon Blanc I asked you to pick up? Yeah, let me go get it. Oh, great. I was afraid you'd forget. Ooh, what a nice couch. I hate couches that just sag. It's cushy. No, no. I'll have it in just a minute. <laughs> Closed. No. Aha. Great sunlight and hardwood floors? Right. Mmm. It has that dirty diaper smell. I love it. Thanks for remembering. I owe you one. <laughs>